Paul Tisdale, how has your first pre-season gone as MK Don's manager? I'm hesitating because I don't know what to say. It's been, it's been, it's been as good as I would have hoped for. Um, it's a very, very quick learning curve when you go into a new club. I'm very cautious to say too many positive things because actually after Saturday's result, Saturday night, it all sort of becomes irrelevant really. It depends how, how we get on at Oldham and then we'll, we'll have a view of it. So uh, it, it's, I suppose it's judged by how many players have come through fit and unscathed and that's been pretty good. I think the medical department has done a wonderful job in again, in players like Joe Walsh and Alex Gilby, especially back, back into contention. When actually when I arrived a month ago, there was talk that maybe they wouldn't be. And Chucks and Eki and Osman uh, closer by the day. So in those terms, it's been a very good pre-season. Um, I've learned a lot and um, like some of the performances we've had recently and uh, generally pretty, pretty happy. Do you, or have you had a chance to get a feel for the players you've got and works out the best system going forward? You've got a pretty strong feel of what your team's going to look like yeah, for the next couple of weeks. And actually, you've, you've used the right word, feel. You don't, there's no, there's no, there's no certainty um, until, you know, the proof's in the pudding, I suppose, once we see how it all fits together. I've got a very good feel for it, um, but I'm going to have a far better feel in six months' time. So it's, it's in, in context, it's been a month. I'm pretty pleased what I've learnt so far and seen. I have got a feel for that, and I have got a feel with how I w want us to, to visualise in terms of our performance. That hasn't quite manifested itself yet into a, into a particular sort of pattern and team shape, but in terms of how I'd like us to play, yes, we've got, we've got a feel for how that's going to be, yeah. In terms of recruitment, are you, are you pleased with the business you've done so far? Obviously, it's an earlier transfer window this season. Are you expecting much more to happen before Thursday? Well, there's two parts. That One is what we do and the other part is what other clubs do in terms of looking at our players. Um, sometimes when other clubs come knocking on your door, you're the last one to know. It's, and, and we still have another week of the window. So in terms of what the, the, the business we, we're doing, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm happy with it, but no signing is a good signing until they've gone onto the pitch, performed to the level that they've been asked or expected to do and done that over a period of time. So. So far, so good, but it's early days. You brought in both Baudry and Cargill in the last couple of days. Can you just give us a little bit on what you're hoping they're going to bring to the team? Uh, both, both players have real quality as a, as a defender in terms of their use of the ball. Um, I think I've made a decision in the last week or two that uh, that part of our game will become a real strength of ours. So I've, I've strengthened our strength. I think that it's, it's, we've got good players in situ already, I think it's going to become a major part of our performance. So I've actually taken the opportunity to sign two players that will bring real ability to that part of our game. And, uh, you know, you probably noticed already I'm talking about the team and how we play and it's not about individuals and I'm certainly trying to build that from the back and um, it's going to be a, a process not completed overnight, but, uh, you know, it's that there'll be two really, really good acquisitions for the team. Are you looking to strengthen any other areas of the team are you looking for anyone going forward or, or another striker perhaps in time yes in time but I mean people forget that we've got Osman and Chucks that have been unavailable so far you know so okay we've that they've not been available during pre-season but they're not far away and they're both, they're both in training um, maybe Chucks is uh, closer than Osman but um, you know it's uh, I have to get the balance right between suddenly having six or seven forwards for a couple of positions and maybe having to wait a few weeks for those players so it's a difficult especially when I don't know the players completely yet but um, the, I, I think the point is you know, when you become a fo football manager you can't wait for confirmation you sometimes got to have a clear view and you've got to stick with it and you, you have to have that clarity you might get it slightly wrong and you, you adjust your, your position but you can't hang around waiting and uh, um, we've got two you know, players of real calibre there that are not far away from playing. So, um, I, I guess when they're back in, in into, into contention, they'll fill up two, two new signings. So both out of contention as far as Saturday is concerned. Uh, Osman's not ready yet, but Chucks has been back in training. So, you know, when you're back in training, you, you, you get judged on whether you're whether you you can do it or not. So he's back in training, yeah. And you expecting him to still be a MK Dons player in eight days' time? Until something changes, yes.
it's under contract. There's been, you know, it's, you know, there's been conversations and debate about it. But I've had nothing tangible coming to, coming to me to suggest he won't be. He's on contract. I'm talking to him as if he he'll be playing here. And until that changes, he's an MK Dons player. So is he happy to be playing here and to start the campaign? Yeah. Ask him. In terms of Saturday and Oldham, how much do you know about them and how much of the preparation has been about them and, and what they're going to do? Um, well, I'd be lying if I say I knew everything about them. They, they, they're in transition maybe too. They've come down also. Um, teams changing. There's always a, uh, there are very few t teams that go into the following season with the same, the same, especially lower level, the same players on the pitch. So we, we've done our, as much research and scouting that we can do. But it's one of those times of the year when you don't really get the full picture because you know you're not quite sure what's going on behind the scenes. You're not had a, a look at them so in, in in competitive matches. So we've done our best with it. Um, I think really we have to establish our own pattern and tempo as quick as we can. And finally, have you set targets in terms of the first couple of months and, and how many points you want on the board and, and whereabouts on the table you want to be? No, not yet. I, I'm I'm I want to win every game. So let's just start with that. Home or away, it's not it's not something that. I differentiate between the two. I'd like to win every game, um, and until the, until the final whistle goes, we've we've got a chance in every game. So, forgive me, but I've got plenty of things to think about and and uh, emphasis to give to the team at the moment. Uh, those things are coming first in terms of points, targets, and w let me have five or six games first before I start um, with some kind of misty prediction of the future. Let's just stick with. Saturday, three o'clock, we need to be competitive. Thank you. Uh, we saw Callum Britton limp off on Friday night. How's he been pro progressing this week? He's fully trained today, so probably that's your answer. So unless he's unless he's a, as an issue after training today, he's come through a full training session today, so good news. Um, is now the point where you start to get quite excited about the football season? You know, all the all the talking can stop and you can just get on with the, the, the proper on-the-pitch stuff? Yeah, I mean, excited is is one word. There are lots of other words. There's, there's you know, the, the sudden reality. There's pressure. There's, there's adrenaline. There's, it means different things for different people. I mean, we are, we are in the entertainment industry, I suppose. So it is about exciting and motivating the supporters to come and watch us play. So, we, we have a, a slightly different view. This is business for us. This is about, you know, contracts and being successful. So, excited, yeah. But there's also that reality now that this is business and uh, we have to be on that, in that mindset, ready for Saturday. Um, Alex Gilby and Joe Walsh have been obviously long-term um, absentees in the side. Um, you have been sort of treating them with kid gloves in, in pre-season. How, how close are they? Well, Alex Gilby, is, I mean, again, I don't want to tempt fate, but he's come through a lot quicker than we thought he, he, he would have done. Still, I'm still not going to get too carried away until he's put significant amount of games together but he's come through pretty well this pre-season there's no reason why he shouldn't be in contention uh, Joe Walsh has had a slightly more erratic pre-season he had a couple of niggly injuries which has just slowed his progress down some so but he's he's fit and, and available so um, really I, I, I'm, I'm only uh, interested in one thing is that the players are all fit and, and ready for, for selection and, and most of them are um, Gilby was one of the players that I think the fans were most disappointed to lose last season. Um, how big a player could he be for you? Well, he should be if he's available and, and uh, on his game. He, he not should be, he will be. He will be a, you know, a considerable asset to us. Um, and we've got we're harbouring ambitions of, of promotion, and he's the type of player that will get us close to that. So um, you know, it's uh, again speculating about the future is, is, is a dangerous thing, but. I'm 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 pretty happy what he's done so far, and Simon and Adam in the uh, medical room have done a really good job getting him to this point.